The full extent of Helene's destructive toll just now coming into focus. We have no water, we have no power. After the rising waters rushed through these communities, forcing some to puncture holes in their roofs just to escape their homes, new satellite images show how floodwaters overwhelmed the French Broad River, and video showing dramatic landslides in the mountains, all causing widespread destruction. As residents in Swannanoa, just outside of Asheville, North Carolina, are getting their first look at the storm's devastation. There's probably about 8 to 12 inches of mud. You basically would sink in mud. Oh, yeah. In Asheville, Mission Hospital's 100-bed ER forced to take care of 200 patients, staff treating the sick and injured in triage tents with limited resources. Everything people see on the news, it's worse in person. It's worse. These trucks providing the only access to clean water. Surgeries and procedures can't go on because there's no water for the doctors to scrub in. HCA Health, which oversees the hospital, telling NBC News in part they have remained open and caring for patients since the storm, adding we are hopeful that the Asheville community's infrastructure will be restored soon, but we have contingency plans in place and will continue to evaluate how best to take care of our patients and our colleagues. On Wednesday, President Biden surveying the damage from the air, saying relief will cost billions, but promising more aid is on the way. And while so many have lost so much, for those left with something to clean up, I'm so glad it survived. Finding even a small memento is monumental. These are things you can't get back. There's no amount of FEMA that will uh, put these pictures back in the frame. As people here, guys, are taking solace right now in the little things, there are significant challenges ahead between three different states, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. There are roughly still a million people with no power. The projections for this part of western North Carolina, many people will have their power back by Friday, but still no timeline at all. Officials don't even want to venture to make one as to when running water might return. Mm -hmm. Savannah, back to you. All right, Sam Brock for us there in Nashville. Sam, thank you. Uh, one week mm -hmm. and you still just can't get over mm -hmm. the devastation in this area. And it's going to take many, many weeks, if not months, mm -hmm. to, to clean up all of that damage. The good news is, I'd say, we're not going to see any more rain for the next five to seven days in the Asheville, North Carolina area. But we are still watching the Gulf of Mexico. There's an area that's been trying to gather itself into a tropical system, but now it's gone down to only a 30 percent chance of that happening. The, the setup in the Gulf of Mexico right now, the waters are a little cooler than they were with the last storm. And we also have a lot of wind shear, which is basically wind at the upper levels of the atmosphere that kind of tear the storm apart a little bit. So while we do have scattered showers and storms, some of them tropical in nature, producing some heavier downpours, we're not going to see this really have a good chance of gathering into a tropical system. That being said, we are still looking at some scattered showers, some heavier downpours, some thunderstorms in and around Florida for the next several days. And again, because it is tropical in nature, when those downpours develop, they could produce a lot of rain in a short period of time. So that's why even in the Tampa area, down to Fort Myers, even down to southern Florida, we could end up with about two to three inches of rain. But again, up into North Carolina, there is no rain in the forecast anytime soon. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.